Cross views of Fisher Field. Magic. Well, it's four o'clock in the morning. This is base camp. We're going up there soon. We need to go over that river. Don's not even up yet. He's still in his tent. So here we go. We're off to see if we can do the Fisher Field Six. At least make an attempt at them. Hopefully, speak to you at the top of the first one. This is the first hill, the Corbett. Bena Cladim and it was a hard climb <laughs> and the weather's kind of closing in but it's still dryish so. and early and still early so we can't complain five to go first one of the day Scarpan the weather's a bit clear it's a bit windy over to Antiolac Two down, forty one. I think that we meet the next one. So here we are, Mullock Corey McFuture, the highest mountain we'll climb today. That's number three on the Fisher Field six. And we actually passed someone, that's the first person that we've seen today as well. So heading off now to number four, which is there, at number five, which is under the cloud, and number six, which is over there. Pentarson, number four. Yeah, six. Yeah. And we're getting there. There's the next two. Armageddon. We shall head out again. Ahmadine, the fifth Monroe, or the, sorry, the fourth Monroe, the fifth of the hill. Um, it's looking at uh, Tarsun. The walk is unbelievably hard, an absolute slog, but to see these views is absolutely worth it. Some of the best views that I've seen from the top of a minute. Up on Monroe, fantastic. We up to the ocean. And that's the next Monroe we're going to do, the last one. Thankfully. Rad Stackmore, number six of the Fisher Field Six. And it was a horror. But again, the views are fantastic. The climb up was just absolutely crazy. Scramble for us. Heart in the mouth at times, but we made it. And there's our last view of Fisher View from the top. Now we've just got about a seven mile walk in. Cheers and goodbye.